Hello everyone, it's PCL Pa here and today I'll be showing you how to fix hyping issues, online lag and server errors for the game Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. And I would like to first of all thank you all as my channel recently completed 12k subscribers and it means a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet then please hit the subscribe button now for regular gaming content and some pretty cool giveaways in future too. Also I'll be linking some of the coolest gaming accessories you can have in the description of this video including some gaming laptops, mouse and other accessories. So if you're interested in buying any of it then just have a look at it too. And now without any further ado let's get started. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you're still facing this issue then proceed to the next step. This step is a really important step and I consider this step to be a mandatory one before performing any further steps. So in this step we'll be clean booting our PC and what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. And clean booting is different from restarting your PC so if you don't know how to clean boot your PC then I've already made a guide on how to do so. I'll provide you the link of that video in the description of this one and it is a really quick guide of 4 minutes. So just watch that video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the further steps. This step is a really useful step and it has helped many users in fixing this problem. So first of all what you have to do is, you just have to go to your command prompt. So just search for cmd on your start menu and go to command prompt. In command prompt, search for ping, type ping 1.1.1.1 and once you have done that, press enter. So it will take some time, it will just analyze the ping at 1.1.1.1 and as you can see, average ping is 11ms. Now what you have to do is you have to type ping 8.8.8.8 and press enter and it will again calculate the average ping so let's wait for it and request timeout and here it is the average ping here is 17 ms so as you can see there is a clear difference between this dns server and this dns server 11 ms is way better than 17 ms so what you have to do is you just have to see which one is better for you and just remember that dns and now go to your network connections. So search for view network connections. So just go to view network connections here as you can see. And here you have to go to your current network to which you are connected right now. So I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. Just double click on your Wi-Fi if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or you can just select your Ethernet if you're connected to your Ethernet and go to your properties. In properties you have to select internet protocol version 4 and click on OK. Oh, click on properties, not click on OK, click on properties. And in properties, by default it is on obtain DNS server address automatically. You have to select use the following DNS server address and in preferred DNS server you have to enter the DNS which was better for you. So in my case 1.1.1.1 was better for me. So I'll press 1.1.1.1 and if 1.1.1 was better for you too, so you have to do the same 1.0.0.1. So that's it for this step but just in case. 8.8.8 .8 was better for you then you just have to change it to 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate DNS server to 8.8.4.4 and click on OK. Once you have done that, that's it for this step. It will be really helpful and it has fixed this problem for many users. Now let's proceed to the next step. This step is again a very important one. In this step we will be forwarding ports. So first of all search on Google Fortnite ports and go to this website called portforward.com and once you will click on this link you will be redirected to this page here scroll down and here inside uh, under pc you can see tcp and udp ports so if you don't want to visit this website i will provide both these tcp and udp ports in the description of this video and you can just copy it from there so first of all copy tcp ports all the tcp ports from the description of this video and then search for firewall in your search bar and go to windows defender firewall with advanced security and once you will click on it, uh, this screen will pop up and here go to inbound rules and in inbound rules you have to create a new rule. So once you will click on new rule here, you have to select port here and we have just copied the TCP port so you have to select TCP here and paste all the TCP ports here. Click on next, allow the connection, click on next, select everything here domain private public, click on next and give it the name Fortnite and finish. Once you have done it, now from the description of this video, copy the UDP ports 
uh, my bad. Once you have copied the UDP ports, you again have to create a new rule and this time again select port and once you selected port, click on next. This time select UDP port and paste the UDP ports here. So this time instead of TCP, we selected UDP because we just copied all the UDP ports. Click on next, allow the connection, click on next, domain private public, select everything and again give it the name Fortnite and once you have done it, you will again see a def uh, significant difference in your lag. Now online lag will be reduced and you will be getting lower ping. In this step, we'll be flushing our DNS. So this step also seemed to fix this problem for many users. So, and to perform this step, you just have to go to your CMD again, that is command prompt. And once you'll open it, you just have to type IP config space, then give a slash backslash and flush DNS. I'm just confused. Is, is it a backslash or forward slash? I'm just confused. So whichever it is, IP config space slash and then flush DNS. And once you've typed it, press enter. And it will see, you will see on your screen Windows IP configuration successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And that's it for this step. It is that simple. Try running your game and most probably you will see a difference if you are facing high ping, then it will also help in that case. And if you're facing any server error, it might fix that problem too. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video, then please leave a like on this video. If you have any doubt, write in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular gaming content. Thank you and have a nice day.